AOCF, welcome to another Tuesday update. I thought I would maybe start by just giving you a little look at where things happen on Sunday mornings now that you're seeing it. So you can kind of see there's the, the sound and all the techie there. Come back this way and you can kind of see where the direction happens for the actual video. And then if we pan out here a little bit, you can kind of see the little studio that's set up. A um, couple of cameras. There's the stage in kind of see the center and we do the preaching on the side so that everything seems a little seamless. Hopefully you're getting blessed by what we're doing on Sunday mornings and what we're hearing feedback has been uh, pretty good. We appreciate the encouragement uh, and are just delighted that so many people are tuning in, not just on Sunday morning, but continuing to view that uh, over the rest of the day. And so uh, it's just been, been a lot better than we expected that it could be. A couple of updates this week. Uh, the first update we want to talk about is uh, what we're doing as a church budget-wise. Uh, we've had some questions about that. And what we did is we tried to freeze all spending as a church. And so our normally normal monthly budget is around $122,000 a month. And what we've been able to do is get that spending down to under $90,000 a month. And our giving in March and so far in April uh, has met those needs, in fact, even a little bit above. And so we're just, um, again, giving thanks to God for his constant provision. And that's what we'll continue to do. We'll continue to freeze expenses, keep things as low as we possibly can, and uh, continue to run uh, under budget until things begin to turn around, uh, both economically, uh, but also until we're able to start meeting again on site. Uh, a couple other updates. One of the things I'm really excited about is starting this uh, Sunday, we're going to start a new series at OCF. And we had something planned, but we're going to put that on the shelf and start something new. And we're actually going to spend some time in the Psalms, uh, one of, you know, maybe my favorite book in the Bible. Uh, but Psalms, uh, Sustenance for the Soul. And we're going to look at some different Psalms that some are praise Psalms and uh, enthusiastic Psalms, some are lament Psalms. Uh, and so we just thought it'd be a good time to focus on Psalms, which focuses on God, our trust in the Lord, and it does it in some pretty neat uh, and creative ways. And so we're looking forward to that. Uh, John Hutchison uh, will be kicking that off this week with kind of an introduction to the Psalms. And so I hope you're uh, going to tune in on Sunday. In addition, we're also going to start a reading plan. And some of you may be familiar with the reading plan because I did this, uh, I introduced it a couple of years ago. And so we're going to put that in the email so that you can download that. But basically, it's five psalms a day, and that gets you through the entire book of psalms in a month. And it doesn't take that long. And my hope and prayer isn't that you would just rush through it to get through five psalms, but that you would read them, and as you read them, you would think about them. And then perhaps there's going to be one of the five psalms or a couple of them that just really kind of grabs you that day. And I'd love for you to spend some time in that psalm. And maybe even there's a verse or two within that psalm that really is uh, coming alive for you. And maybe that's what you want to make your prayer or your meditation that day. So please uh, join along. We'll all be reading the psalms together. And I think it will just be a great month of, of your own personal spiritual growth. But to know that you're doing it with a larger group of people here at OCF, I think that'll be fun. Uh, in addition to the new sermon series, we're going to pick something back up that we've been doing. And what we're going to pick back up is our class on 1 Corinthians. Uh, Mark Denai is uh, our missionary, uh, Mark and Lisa, and they are based out of France, but they've been home on furlough this year. And so what Mark did, he did is actually his PhD studies in Scotland on uh, the book of Corinthians. And so he's been teaching a class. Now the class got going and then everything had to shut down. And so we're excited that now is a great time to get it going again, obviously via Zoom. And when we get it going again, uh, anybody can jump in. Uh, and so we would love to see this just explode and have a ton of people. Uh, Mark is going to teach that on Sundays uh, shortly after we finish our uh, service. That's the plan as of now. And uh, we'd just love to see anybody and everybody uh, jump in and join that class. We'll send out a, a Zoom link and you can sign up for that. We, we kind of need to know the sign up so we can uh, keep everybody on track there. And uh, so if you're interested in all of that, pay attention to the emails and uh, would love to have you join that. This Sunday is also the fourth Sunday 
And on the fourth Sunday, we celebrate communion. Uh, it went well on Easter Sunday. We had some good feedback. We weren't quite sure how the virtual communion would work, uh, but it seemed to go really well. And so we're going to start that up on the fourth Sunday of every month. And that would be this Sunday. So I'd encourage you to have your elements ready on Sunday uh, so that when we get to that point in the service where we tangibly remember and proclaim God's kingdom, remember uh, his crucifixion and resurrection and proclaim his coming kingdom, uh, we want you to have those elements with you. And again, uh, don't be legalistic. If you, if you have wine, great. If you have grape juice, great. But if you don't, uh, you can substitute that. It's symbolic of uh, the body and the blood of Christ. So uh, be prepared for that on Sunday. And I'm thinking the last announcement, and it's a really good announcement, is we're going to start up prayer. Uh, as you know, we have always had a prayer room at the end of service. So if you wanted prayer, you could go into the prayer room and you would have uh, the prayer team, members of the prayer team who'd be available to pray with you and to pray for you. And we wanna get that going again. Uh, obviously it's not gonna be able to happen in person, uh, but Pastor Joe and uh, Ed Ariola, who's in oversees our prayer ministry, uh, they're gonna begin to do this. And so there's gonna be an opportunity for you to call in again after church on Sundays. You're gonna be able to call in and we'll have everybody on the Zoom call who wants prayer, and then they will be able to take uh, individuals into a private chat room and be able to pray for you. And so we just think this is an awesome opportunity for us to continue to pray for your needs and for you to feel encouraged uh, that others are praying for you. Uh, as always, you can continue to put your prayer requests on the uh, website. You can email those to us and we get together and pray for those. Actually, we do it via Zoom too. Uh, but if you'd like somebody to pray for you in real time, uh, please take advantage of that. And uh, again, just while we're not in ideal circumstances, we are really happy with the way things are going. We think God is continuing to bless. God is continuing to show himself faithful. And as we continue to be flexible, to be characterized by a heart of gratitude, uh, I think we'll not only get through this, but I think we can even thrive through this. So be blessed. Have a great Tuesday. And we look forward to meeting again.